between 1910 and 1943, the Rudolph Wurlitzer Manufacturing Company, based in North Tonawanda, New York, built 2,243 pipe organs. And this one, uh, Wurlitzer Style 260 Opus 1097, originally built in 1925, it represents one of only a handful of Wurlitzer pipe organs that have been carefully restored without any alteration to the original technologies. The Oriental is now 96 years old and it was starting to show its age. And as movie palaces go, it was still looking really good, but there were a lot of things that were going wrong. And I think one of the most famous things is going to be the uh, giant piece of plaster that fell out of the ceiling uh, back in 2018. But at this point, we've now cleaned up and renovated the small theaters. Over the course of the pandemic, we changed all the seats, did massive amounts of plaster, and installing the organ is, is kind of a key piece to that, to bringing it all together. When we first took over the Oriental, it always felt like we had this missing piece, just a little bit of the magic that wasn't there. Jonathan Jackson was the one who found Jeff and his team, and I couldn't imagine a more perfect pick. I mean, here we are with our 1920s movie Palace, and we get a fully intact 1920s Wurlitzer organ. It's really incredible and something that feels so natural and such a fit for this venue. Part of my job that I've been doing during this installation is to wire this instrument. That is involving this giant bundle of wires, which I've had to go through and label and organize and get them to go into the right direction of where they need to go. There are over 2,000 wires just to make this instrument play. Franz Rudolph was my great-great-grandfather, and he was so happy that he was able to bring music to so many people. The jute box for a nickel, you could be exposed to music. At one point I read that he was able to make a new violin sound like an old violin, and so I think the organ has that capability of making all of these different sounds that you're not necessarily expecting. These instruments were originally conceived as the voice of silent film. So when you have a quintessential 1920s movie palace and a very iconic pipe organ and you marry them together, it is really the best of the best. It's been really fantastic for me, having been here as long as I have, watching things transform from this place that is literally starting to fall apart to a place that is shining jewel of cinema experience. 